Hello everyone and welcome to another video of Drinking with Matingas. As you can see, my tuxedo is gone because it's fucking hot out. I'm also wearing pants. Yeah, and shoes. Because it's one of those weird days where I actually showered and went outside. And there's no more beer in Tijuana, so I have to drink craft beer, even though I don't have the money to be buying craft beer. My book money came in, so I have some money. There's my book. I already talked about it. I made $400 <laughs> on my first month of sales. And after that, I made like 150. And after that, I'm making like 89. So please go buy it. And let's say other, other YouTube shit. Hit subscribe. Hit the like button. You know all that bullshit. Share this video, even though I'm not even sure what I'm doing. Buy my book. I also brought this out because... That's, it's dusty as shit. It's my picture of Lindsay Lohan. That was my first cover. It's dusty. But yeah, and that's the next book I'm working on. I took this in Hawaii and, oh my God, it's hot out. I, I can't even, it's my next book. I'm planning to um, have it ready by August, this summer. Let's see if the world is still around. All right, to my right, the beers I already drank. To my left, the beers I plan to drink. I'm only gonna drink one on camera, this one. This beauty. Well, I don't know if it's a beauty because I haven't had it. Uh, Hercules with Insurgente. I mentioned Hercules, I mentioned Insurgente. Insurgente, one of my favorite breweries. Hercules is from my hometown. They are a really good brewery. From what I know, they poached the brewer from Cigar City. From what I know is that uh, La Comercial Mexicana, when they sold to Soriana, the kids were like, let's make a brewery. So they made a brewery with a lot of money. So they're doing really, 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 really good things in my hometown. So right, the beers I drank. I didn't do this on purpose, but most of them are session IPAs. Starting by my standard best session out there in Baja, Piedra Lisa. This is, I drank six of them because I got a six, uh, free six pack. Those were cans, uh, bottles slightly better. It makes really no difference. Uh, when I started thinking about it, the can does not look like a beer. It looks like a hard seltzer. It's still a fucking great beer. And I love the name Lisa because I already told you why. Astillero, Imperia, Imperio IPA, Imperial IPA by Aguamala. Um, it used to be one of my favorite IPAs. It's all right. It's good. Uh, full disclaimer as well. I wasn't taking notes. I wasn't like really drinking them like, oh my God, like yeah, analyzing every moment, like pouring it on the glass and all that shit. I was actually just playing Starcraft and drinking beer because that's what I wanted to do. I didn't want to do more videos with my tuxedo because it was hot out. So I just drank beers. I went back to Nukali. Again, their lager was not good, but their session IPA is up there. Uh, their double IPA and their regular IPA. So, um, <laughs> my cat is staring at me. Um, what? Their double IPA. Their double IPA and the regular Pale Ale or IPA, Baja Terra said they're still better. Their session IPA is really good too. Mind Flow is, their, is the name. I, I For 63 pesos, it's still a fucking steal. Um, again, I'm grabbing all of this from Licor de la Sexta. Tijuana is out of Tecate. It's out of commercial beer. The only place with beer right now is Licor de la Sexta and your local breweries. Go buy from them. Because, I mean, you have no other choice. Uh, and they're running out, at least Licor de la Sexta is running out. All right, I got these two beers from my friend Carla. I had them before uh, at a beer fest, and uh, all I remember is I didn't like them. This time, it was a Pilsen and a Vienna, and again, I drank them, I poured them in a the glass and everything, and I drank them. They were decent. They were like your commercial beer. Uh, I mean, better than that, but if this were more than 70 pesos, I wouldn't buy them. If they were like 40, 50 pesos, I would definitely grab them. If I see a Tecate and I see one of these, I would be baiting what I would get, probably one of these, because they're, they're slightly, I mean, they're better, but it's nothing It's nothing that you will be like, oh, crap beer, crap beer. Like, if you give this to someone that just drinks beer, they're gonna like it. Um, I don't remember which one is better. Uh, I think the Pilsen was a little bit better. Let's do that. Empty bottle with no label. That comes from my friend Areli. She's making beers with her boyfriend, and I'm guessing more people, uh, down in um, Newport or Puerto Nuevo, where they make lobster. 
I'm sorry, Arely. I told you it was good. It's good. It's fruity. It was also a session IPA. It had no hop flavor, no hop forward, but it was a very well done beer for being like a really small craft brewery that you still has to recycle their bottles, but it's still, you guys are going on a fantastic path and I can't wait. I, I actually want to, Arely, hit me up. I, I want to buy all your beers, try them out and give you more honest reviews. Now the last one over here, and this one too, the Marco Pale Ale. They say it's a Pale Ale, and then on the label it says it's an IPA, uh, like a light IPA, which means it's a session IPA. It's pretty fucking good. I like it better than Astillero. Um, it goes there. Let's, let's make space for what's in the paper bag, because local craft, uh, one of the best deals right now is going to Mahmood, Buying a crawler for 130 pesos. That's like $7 for a big crawler. That was pretty good. I hope it peels through. Uh, what it sounds like. It's a pilsner that's hoppy. It's, I'm gonna put it back in the paper bag. You, you, you get the, the, the deal though, all right? Piedra Lisa was around 56 pesos in Licor de la Sexta, which is cheaper than, well, I don't know if these were free. Uh, this is 100 pesos a liter. Hit up my friend. Because, you know, supporting local crop beer is good. And I obviously drank way more beer than this in the past week. But those are the ones I wanted to show you. I drank two of these. Again, they were great. I drank two of these. They were great. I drank eight of these because I got a six pack for free and I bought two by myself. Yeah, I'm getting I'm getting better at this. Huh? I feel regular, even though I don't really... What to say? Getting hungry. Woo! Let's open the good beer uh, before it gets warm. Oh, by the way, Nukali, the cans, no matter, like, they, if you open them, they usually just a little bit, not much, but they do something to do that. Señales de humo, a smoked Baltic porter. Because of the name, smoke signals, the label, little Indian chief or whatever you want to call it. Uh, yeah. And the name, uh, 8.5 alcohol. I expect a very, very dry, high alcoholic porter. Um, yeah, it does, the, the label doesn't say anything except uh, it's made with, you know, by insurgente. And Hercules, elaborada con maltas ahumadas en casa. Smoked homemade malt. Um, complex beer with an elegant, smoky taste for fans of smoke. I do love smoky shit. Border Psycho had a great smoky beer. Beso Polaco. It was one of my favorite smoky beers I've ever had. It, it was a light smoky beer. They're never going to make that again. I'm, I'm excited. Uh, I don't drink porters much. I fucking love smoky beers though. It looks like a Coca-Cola, regular of a porter. It doesn't smell like smoky. Uh, I'm disappointed by not smelling as smoky. Maybe it tastes more smoky. It smells like a porter, which is no surprise. The other two beers I'm gonna drink later, not on camera. And then I'll talk about another video, maybe, maybe if I keep the cast. A double hazy IPA by Morenos and Insurgente, another collaboration by Insurgente. People have been raving about this beer. Morenos, from what I've seen, they're doing a really good job. So, good job, Morenos. Um, expensive, 120 pesos, because they made it in Mexico City. Has to ship all the way over here. It's a special collaboration, blah, 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 blah. So, 120 pesos is. Obviously, I'm only, I'm not that rich to be drinking fucking 120 peso beers. Yeah, broke, back my broke. And I don't know why I'm cleaning this because I'm not gonna drink it in front of you guys. Um, a Brute Rose IPA by Wendland. It was 80 pesos on the pricier side for just being a can. Wendland has really, really, really good beers, but um, being a, a Rose, Rose, Rose IPA, a Brute Rose IPA, uh, and a pink can, um, I got curious, too curious to uh, not have it. Um, 
with pink boots brew. All right, that's cool. I'm excited. Let's try this. The videos are already longer. They're getting longer each time. <sighs> Cheers. Oh yeah. It's not a smoky. It's not. Look at how it bubbles, if you can see it. Nah, you can't see shit. Oh, there it is. You can see it bubbling. Look at that. So that's just beauty. And see, my glass is clean. The bubbles are cleaning, clinging to the glass. Well, a little bit, so. Fuck it, it's not like it's gonna alter the taste. Um, it's not a smoky. It's just your straight up fucking great porter. Um, those are such pretty bubbles. The bottom of the glass is dirty because they're clinging right there. Yeah, there's some smoke to it, but it's not like for being all about smoke and being señales de humo and calling it, you know, fans of smoke, you're gonna like this. It's not, I expected some more heavy, more smoky, more anything smokier, basically. That's just straight up great porter. I live it, I mean, it's an 8.5, doesn't taste like an 8.5 at all. You can, it's, Porter, you can chug. Yeah, I don't taste much alcohol in this. It, it is, I don't want to say sweet because I say that all the fucking time. But for expecting something smoky, it's not smoky. If you like porters, you're gonna like it. If you don't like porters and you kind of like porters, you're probably gonna like it. Um, if you don't like porters, then it's, if you don't like porters and you like smoky beers, it's not it's not that smoky uh, shout outs for border cycle we're still having the smokiest beer I've ever had even though they're never gonna do it again uh, let's have some more and final notes um, it was 88 pesos I think maybe 92 it was less than 100 that's good uh, I also have some Madueño beer in the fridge. The Lord Hazy himself. He's still selling a lot of beer. Pay him a visit. When I went to his uh, when I went to Querétaro this last year, I went to Hercules. It's a beautiful place. They bought the oldest factory in Mexico because Querétaro is one of the oldest towns in Mexico. They even Hercules, the factory, used to be a textile, you know, clothing factory. They used to have slaves, basically, because they used to pay them with Hercules money, not with real money. So the money that they paid their workers, they would have to spend it right there. But now it's a brewery. It's a beautiful, majestic place, colonial. They, I'm guessing maybe they spend between five and ten million dollars to make the brewery happen. Maybe more, who knows? There's some smokiness that lingers at the end, but it's not enough for me to be like, oh, it's a smoky porter. It, it even like has some like raisins or like maybe bullshit, bullshit, you know, like undertones and, but it's, it's a porter. A little bit chocolate lead too, it's just, I expected more smokiness. But all in all, Great beer, nice and thick. Very, very drinkable for being an 8.5. It would sneak up on you easily. Um, so, that's drinking with Matingas. Come have a beer with me when all this shit is done. <laughs> My videos are getting longer and like I'm just waiting for the 15 minute mark just because I like round numbers and like I, I, I It's funny you see in the microwave I will put on even numbers and all my shit I do on even numbers, but when it comes to filming. I just want that 15 minute mark. It's coming up Straight up great porter That's it ah!